Flux Context is still one of the best AI image editing tools out there. With just a simple prompt, we can change a character's outfit, pose, or expression starting from a single image. It's a perfect use case for building a Flux LoRa dataset, but without a powerful GPU, you'll be waiting forever. That's why I'll show you how to run Flux Context in Comfy UI on RunPod, so you can rent a beastie GPU and get fast results. To run Flux Context in the cloud, we need a RunPod account. If you sign up using our link in the pinned comment and add at least $10 through the billing section, you'll get bonus credits instantly, anywhere from $5 to $500, giving you extra GPU time right from the start. Once your account is funded, we're ready to deploy a GPU pod using our custom ComfyUI template. This will set up the perfect environment to run Flux Context smoothly in the cloud. Head over to the pod section from the left sidebar and let's deploy ComfyUI using our custom Next Diffusion template. At the top, select Secure Cloud. We need this because our ComfyUI setup is stored on a network volume, including your models, workflows, and outputs. This way, everything stays saved between sessions and you only need to download your models once. If you haven't set up a network volume yet, don't worry. We've made a full tutorial that walks you through the setup and I highly recommend it for a smoother experience. All right, let's move on. Next, pick your GPU. For faster generation speeds with Flux Context, we recommend using an RTX 4090. Scroll down, click Change Template, and select Next Diffusion, Comfy UI. This template is fully pre-configured and ready to go. Now just hit Deploy On Demand to launch your pod. After deploying your pod, click on My Pods from the pop-up. This will take you to the pod you just launched. Expand it to view the details, then head over to the Logs tab to check the setup progress in real time. If you're not using a network volume, the initialization process can take several minutes, since ComfyUI and its dependencies need to be installed from scratch each time. But with a network volume, everything's already in place, so setup is much faster. In the logs, watch for a message saying that port 8888 is ready. This indicates your VS Code server is available. At the same time, you'll see the pod status switch to running in the top right corner. As soon as you see that, click connect, then select HTTP service and choose port 8888. This opens a browser-based Visual Studio Code environment, which acts as your workspace inside the pod. From here, you have direct access to the entire Comfy UI file system, including folders for your downloaded models, workflows, scripts, generated outputs, and everything else you need to manage and customize your setup. Before before we can start using Flux Context for image editing, we need to download the required model files. To do this, we'll use the terminal inside your VS Code Server workspace. You can open the terminal by clicking the toggle panel icon in the top right corner or just press Ctrl plus J. That opens the terminal at the bottom of your screen. By default, the terminal opens in the workspace directory, which is exactly where we need to be. From here, we'll download all the necessary model files directly into the correct folders using a single command. Let's take a look at which files we need and how to run the command. To run Flux Context Dev, you'll need four key files, a VAE, a clip model, a text encoder, and the Flux Context FP8 model. Each belongs in a specific folder inside your Comfy UI directory. You could download them one by one and place them manually or run separate commands for each, but that's tedious. Instead, we've made it simple. Just copy the single command from the written tutorial, paste it into your VS Code terminal, and hit enter. It will download everything and sort the files into the correct folders automatically, quick and easy. This might take a few minutes depending on your pod speed. Make sure you've got at least 25 gigabytes of free space on your network volume so everything fits without issues. While you wait, it's time for the comfy shuffle. A quick stretch, a little dance, whatever gets you moving. Because once it's done, we can start Comfy UI, explore the Flux Context workflow, and see it in action. When the download finishes, you can verify your setup by browsing through the correct folders in the left sidebar of VS Code. Check that all the model files have been downloaded and are neatly organized organized in their proper places. This step helps make sure everything is ready before we move on. All right, now that everything's downloaded and in place, let's clear out the terminal by typing clear. This will wipe the download log, so we're working with a clean view. Next, type cd slash workspace and press enter. This stands for change directory and brings us back to the main workspace folder where all the core files are located. From here, we're ready to launch Comfy UI and bring Flux Context to life. 
All right, so how do we launch Comfy UI from the terminal? In the workspace directory on the left, you'll see a file called run underscore GPU dot sh. This is the script we'll use to start Comfy UI. Since it lives in the workspace directory, we need to run it from here. So in the terminal, type dot slash run underscore GPU dot sh and hit enter. Let Comfy UI start up. It'll take a moment to load everything. Just wait a bit and we'll be ready to jump into Flux Context. Once Comfy UI finishes starting up, you'll see a message in the terminal saying that port 8188 is ready. This means the Comfy UI interface is now live and ready to use. At this point, don't close the terminal. You'll need to keep it running since it powers the Comfy UI backend. Now head back to your pod in the RunPod dashboard, click connect and choose port 8188. This will open Comfy UI in a new browser tab, ready to go. All right, with Comfy UI running and all the model files in place, it's time to load up the Flux Context Dev workflow. First, grab the workflow file from our written tutorial and drop it into Comfy UI. This will load the full setup ready for image to image editing. Let's walk through a simple example, changing an outfit using a reference image. Start by uploading your image into the load image node. For this demo, we're using a vertical nine by 16 portrait of a stunning woman generated earlier with Flux Dev. Next, adjust your prompt and here's a tip. Always begin by describing what you want to keep the same. For example, keep the woman's pose, expression, and clean white studio background exactly the same. Then describe what you want to change. In this case, we'll say, change her outfit to a bodycon midi skirt with a bold animal print that emphasizes her hips. After that, check the image dimensions. The default might be square, but since our input image is 9 by 16, let's match that ratio for the output as well. Finally, click Run. Flux Context will process your prompt, apply the outfit change, and keep everything else just the way you asked. On an RTX 4090, the result should be ready in about 30 seconds. All right, let's try another image editing prompt. This time, instead of changing her outfit, we'll keep her styling exactly the same and focus on changing her pose. The goal is to have her standing confidently, with one hand on her hip and the other touching her neck. Her body turned slightly to the side to emphasize both curves and attitude. Once your prompt is updated with those pose details, go ahead and run it again to see the transformation. And just like that, you've seen how easy it is to edit an image with a single prompt and reference image. If you want to take things further, Flux Context Dev also supports multi-image workflows. Great for blending outfits, poses, or styles from multiple sources. We've got a dedicated written tutorial that covers this in detail, and you can download the multi-image workflows directly from there to try them out yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Don't forget to try the workflows yourself on RunPod for fast, smooth generation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.